baseball on tap from Fenway Park in Boston. It'll be the Blue Jays and the Red Sox coming up next. Hey, what is going on guys? T Sports 15 here. And today we have another episode of Toronto Blue Jays franchise here in MLB 13 the show. Uh, so in this episode we are headed to Fenway Park in Boston to take on the Red Sox, who are two games under 500. We're actually having a pretty good season so far uh, for the Blue Jays. If you guys are wondering where we are in the uh, in the standings, we are in second place in the division. We are about eight games back of the New York Yankees. They're actually tearing it up. Um, and if you're wondering about um, how the uh, lineups shake shape out, um, we put Puig in left as usual, Bautista in right, Melky Cabrera to the bench, and Carnacion moves from first to DH, and then we played Miguel Sano um, at first. So that's how the lineups played out pretty much uh, so yeah we're gonna get right into the action Jose Reyes starts starts it off with a little base hit he was credited with a base hit there off the glove of Pedroia so uh, newly acquired Brandon Phillips comes up next he's gonna send this ball to the right center field fence he's gonna one hop off the wall and Jose Reyes is gonna get into score without a throw uh, from the cutoff man so that will give us the early lead and now with the runner on third after he, uh, ground ball to the right side um, Jose Bautista is going to get a ground ball up the middle and that will be an RBI ground out for him so we take the 2-0 lead here over the Red Sox here early in the game um, and you can see our the uh, Red Sox lineup here uh, some newly acquired players that they have are Alex Gordon um, Yadier Molina, Eric Ibar, and uh, they have a pretty different team, seeming that uh, Yadier Molina is one of the best players in the league. Uh, so, Brandon Morrow is on the hill for us. He's 3-7 and seven with an almost 6 ERA, so he's not having a good season. The uh, starter for the Red Sox was uh, Ryan Dempster. He came in last minute. The scheduled starter for the Red Sox was Clay Buckholtz, uh, but he is going to hopefully have a good day here, but he did have a good start after giving up two runs in the first inning so uh, to the uh, Boston Red Sox half of the first inning uh, Ellsbury leads it off with a base hit and then he gets thrown out at second stealing um, and you never want to steal whenever you have a hard thrower and Joe Maurer uh, as the battery mates there um, and with that we would strike out Yadier Molina and we would have a three up three down inning there after the base hit and the uh, thrown out caught stealing at second base so so Colby Rasmus up next, he's going to send this ball into the Bermuda Triangle in center field and he is going to get into third base with a head first slide and uh, he will have himself a triple. Uh, so now we just need to drive him in here to take the three run lead. Miguel Sano up with two outs and he is going to ground out to shortstop uh, for the third out of the inning. So the run does not come across to score and uh, we still have this two run lead headed to the bottom half of the second. We're going to get the next back two strike of swinging um, and Mike Napoli will sit down there uh, so now with a runner on first base and one out they're gonna get a base hit into left field please gonna play this one on a rolling uh, stop it and uh, we will have runners on first and second with one out and Dustin Pedroia coming up next he's gonna get a base hit up the middle Colby Rasmus comes charging hard and uh, we will hold the runner at third so if base is loaded and one out and they could put a big inning here together uh, so next up will be Jackie Bradley, 1-2 counts. He's going to hit this ball to second base. Sure-handed Brandon Phillips is going to turn it himself, and uh, he will get a double play there to end the inning. So we head to the bottom of the third. 2-2 two -two count to the next batter. He's going to get a base hit into right field. Uh, Bautista plays it on a hop, and they will have a runner on first base. Um, and Jacoby Ellsbury, once again, tries to test the arm of our catcher and he does get in there this time so he's a caught stealing and a stolen base in this ball game um and he is on second now for Yadier Molina with two outs. He is going to get a ground out to second base, but Brandon Phillips cannot make the play. Usually a sure-handed second baseman, uh, that one was just a little bit too tough. Uh, so next batter, Mike Napoli, is going to take that curveball down and away uh, for ball four. And now they would have bases loaded for the next batter, Alex Gordon. And with a one-two count, he is going to strike out on that curveball way up top. And uh, that would be strike three. 
three. So we get out of another jam back to back innings and we head to the top of the fourth where Jose Bautista is going to deposit this ball over the green monster and Ryan Dempster is not liking that Jose Bautista with another home run he's having a very good season um, and I wish that the Yankees were not in our division uh, because they are really on fire and uh, they're ahead of us in the division by quite a few and we are one of the best better teams in the MLB um, we're definitely going to be a playoff team no doubt just hopefully we can win the division um, and if you guys are wondering where we are in the season we are about uh, two or three series ahead of uh, well before the all-star break uh, so the next episode if you guys want it to could be the all-star break and home run like all-star game and home run derby uh, just let me know if you guys want that to be included or I could just skip it and uh, get some more actual gameplay in here so Encarnacion is gonna get doubled off on that line out by Brett Laurie it really looked like it was gonna be a ground ball uh, so now with two outs yeah Zeal Puig is gonna come up next he's gonna get a line shot into right field and the right fielder comes on makes a stellar diving catch and that will end the top of the fourth so to the bottom of the fourth will middlebrooks up and he's gonna hit one over the green monster himself to make it a two-run ball game and moves the score moves to three to one after that middlebrooks home run garden does not like that brandon morrow gave up another home run and uh, that will add to his era struggles uh, as of early on this season um, so hopefully only giving up one run so far through four innings hopefully he can hold them there and improve his era um, i really don't care too much about their individual stats as long as we're picking up the w's that's really the only stat that matters to me but uh anything individual i guess it could help a little bit so uh, one two count here definitely not throwing at jackie bradley uh, i was just a mistake pitch there uh, so with jackie bradley on first base he has a ton of speed he's going to be going there and this is going to be hit off the green monster and uh, yeah zeal puig's going to play that one off the wall he gets a nice read off the wall but uh, jackie bradley was going from first and uh, he will easily score so they move move the score two three to two and jose bautista up in the top of the six he's going to get another hit here into left field uh, between the five six hole uh, so now we have a runner on first base and Carnacion coming up with a 2-0 count he's gonna hit this base hit past the diving shortstop and we have an inning started here with runner on first and second and Brett Laurie coming up 2-2 count and he is going to get a little ground out to the pitcher who makes a nice play just getting Brett Laurie at first so Joe Smith is gonna come in for the Blue Jays here in the sixth inning if I'm not mistaken sixth or seventh uh, he is five and three with a three ERA so yes he came in for the sixth so the first batter he faces checks his swing with a 3-1 count and he will take the base after the first base umpire said he didn't go uh, so we give up a walk here and the Joe Smith did not have a good inning here so next batter Dustin Pedroia will get take swing and miss there but uh, we really didn't have a good reaction time there with Joe Maurer and uh, that was a used mistake so he gets in there at second base uh, so Pedroia is going to smoke this one off the green monster Puig does not get a good read off of it um, and the run will score there so on that uh, Dustin Pedroia double so they have a runner on second Pedroia obviously has some pretty good speed um, and he can score on a base hit here so next batter Shane Victorino um, with Pedroia now at third he is going to get a base hit infield single after Reyes just didn't have enough time to turn and throw there uh, so 3-0 count to the next batter Jacoby Ellsbury he's gonna reach base as well via the walk and uh, after that I had enough with Joe Smith I usually like to let a relief pitcher finish the inning but he I just couldn't really find the spots and whenever I did hit the glove they were getting hit so Brett Cecil comes in he is 3-2 and two on the season with a 3.38 ERA he's having a decent season um, in that long relief role so one and one count with runners on second and third he will get the inning ending out there ground outs uh, to shortstop and uh, that will do it for the 
the sixth. So you can see the uh, sixth inning stat line. Um, three runs for us with on seven hits, no errors. And for the Red Sox, four runs on ten hits, no errors. Bautista's two for three. Middlebrooks is two for two. Both of them have a home run each. So Casey Jansen is going to come in for us in the seventh. Nothing happened for us in the top half. So he's having a very good season. 1-0 uh, with a less than one ERA. But that is going to go up after Mike Napoli is going to hit this one well over the green monster uh, for a solo shot. And they will take a two-run lead there after that Napoli bomb. And uh, too many home runs, says Ron Gardenhire. He does not like how many home runs our team is giving up, um, especially to in-division matchups. Uh, we've just been giving up way too many home runs uh, here, at least in the first half of the season. Hopefully, we can uh, lower our pitching staff ERA and stuff uh, into the second half of the season. That's pretty much the only spot uh, that is needing some help. So, 2-2 two -two count to the next batter, and uh, Casey Jansen will get Dustin Pedro swinging to any inning so Junichi Tazawa is going to come in uh, for the top of the eighth and uh, the first batter he faces is Jose Reyes who is going to get a base hit down the right field line just staying fair and uh, just out of the reach of the first baseman Mike Napoli so we have some speed on the base pass but it's not the time to run but he does run we go hit and run uh, swing and a miss after that was way out of the zone and he gets caught out there on the hit and run so that's one of the risky things to do with a hit and run if it is very out of the zone well well out of the zone sorry so neftali Feliz comes in for the bottom half of the eighth he is the setup man um and this is his eighth inning even though we're down two runs uh, we need to put something together in the uh top of the ninth so he's going to make quick work of the red sox there uh, having a three up three down inning started by that strikeout right there so joel hanrahan coming in trying to pick up his 20 second save of the season he has a six plus era so the first batter he faces is is Jose Bautista, who is no easy task, but he was right there as he gets him looking with that fastball for strike three. So 1-1 one, one counts the next batter, Encarnacion, who's going to put a jolt into this ball. But uh, Jacoby Ellsbury will catch this one right up against the green monster, um, and that will be the second out of the inning. So Mr. Canada comes up next. And uh, Brett Laurie with an 0-1 count is going to get a base hit up the middle. Uh, and that will give us a run on base. And that will bring the tying run to the plate in Yaziel Puig. So 2-2 two -two counts. He's going to guess the pitch right. Puts a jolt into this one. Could it go? But it is well short of a home run. Jacoby Ellsbury is going to track that one down for the third out of the inning and the 27th out of the ball game for them. And uh, we will go on to pick up the loss here. So... Definitely don't like losing to a under 500 team, uh, but sometimes it just happens. Hopefully, we can turn it around for the next game. So definitely let me know what you guys, if you guys want me to do the All Star game and uh, home run derby, I can do one or the other, or I can do both in one episode, something like that. So you can see Will Middlebrooks gets the player of the game. He had that home run. I think he went two for three or three for three. Uh, so he had a pretty good game. Um, our MVP uh, was probably Bautista. He he went two for three, if I'm not mistaken, with that home run. That big fly right there uh, to center field. Uh, so we do go on to lose this game five to two. You can stick around for the box scores if you do really care. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And that'll be it for this video, guys. Peace.